Brat. <laughs> Brat. And when I say, and when I uh, say, sister uh, is, sister is feeling a little, feeling a little sore. Like so my body, like it's my body hurting. is okay. Hurting. Hurting. Okay. Hurting. And if y'all hear that breathing, that's Rocky down there. He just came from outside and like, I guess it's that damn hot outside to the point that he, he was like literally like throwing his body like up against the dough because he was like, uh, y'all ain't finna leave me out here. It's too damn hot out here, okay? I'm about to go get my life right and y'all know what that means by now. And I think I, oh, I've been having like a headache the past uh like day or so and i think i figured out the culprit i think it's my braids um and i think it's just when i wear them up i may be like tying them off a little too tight like in the back because the tension was coming from the back so yeah i think today i'm gonna have to wear these loose yeah sister need to let her her dome relax so i will see you guys in a few all right y'all um open though yeah um yeah on our way to go get our beauty done today okay i'm having a little trouble with my bag okay well, as you can see stephanie tapping real cash all the time jeans and a t-shirt thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm sorry y'all see me digging in my my nose but there's that beat face yes i tried these little blushes that i had got from oh let me turn this car on it is hot as hades i had tried these blushes that i had bought from forever 21 the other day and i don't like it i'm feeling it i gotta go get a haircut tomorrow go with my husband because i think i might want to go to the bobble they always do that. You want your daddy get a cut? He has nothing on his face, nothing on his head. What's he gonna get cut? I'm gonna do the ebony cut. <laughs> Y'all! Family joke. Family joke. I'm hooked on this damn iced coffee now. It's like I be feeding someone like first thing in the morning. I'm not. I don't like hot coffee when it's cold, and I like a Dunkachino. Yeah, I ain't into like all that fancy stuff. Cause I ain't a coffee drinker like that. Are you ever drinking? What kind of coffee do you drink? Machine at home. I have a coffee machine that my father-in-law was going off about when he was at my house visiting. Cause he was like, "Where is the freaking coffee?" I said, "Here's some tea." We had some Dunkin' Donut. We had some Dunkin' Donut coffee. Where me? Hello. He ain't look. There you go. Give her a piece of gum. Never. They just mad because they don't know how to pop gum. That's all it is. <laughs> I can blow a bubble. That's good enough. We said blow a bubble. I said pop. I don't want gum. to pop because that's annoying. For an owl toy. Do you see that? For one owl toy, 59 cents. Your brother better be beaming to pay 59 cents right there. Add a pack for 59 cents. Child, this cat is about to go back up. I know I said I had a headache yesterday from it being up. The honey, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo. I don't sweat and I am sweating, okay? Not the life, not the life. Oh my God, how long did it take to make iced coffee? They have a smoothie too, now. Jada getting her feet done, y'all, okay? Special price for back to school. And mama is already in the chair getting work done, okay? Team, get it right, get it right, get it right. And yes, she is paying for her own. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I don't play that. As I was sitting there getting my pampering done, I was just sitting there thinking about when Jada was sitting next to me. I was just sitting there thinking about how when I was younger, how I used to watch my mama and watch her get all fancy smancy and like just really like 
upkeep and maintain herself. And I can honestly say that is like a trait that she has instilled in me. Something that it stayed with me. So today, my thanks is to my mother. My mother is, she's a bad chick, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all, when I was younger, my mama, I used to love when she would come out to my school. Oh my gosh. Now, I ain't love for her to come out there to be about to snap on somebody because like she be, like I told y'all, she is ride or die. She will come out there, ask no questions, and she will go off and yeah, until the shit get worked out in her favor. However, when she used to step out to my school, I swear to God, everybody knew who Miss Jackson was, okay? They knew who Miss Jackson was, and I tell y'all, she was fine! Fine! Do you hear me? Oh my gosh, bow legs, thigh so, hair always stay done, beat face all the time. My mama to just dress her butt off but it seemed like the older she got and once I moved away my sister and I ain't gonna even lie I be going off on them because I be like y'all supposed to keep her together like if she don't know what style is in and stuff like that right now y'all need to like keep her in check like so when she get around me she get right real quick real quick I have to help her with her hair help her with her makeup I'm just not gonna let my mama walk around any kind of way not gonna do it not on my watch okay so I would hope that Jada and Jasmine if they saw that I fell off when I got older I would hope they would quickly get my ass back on the wagon okay I will too mama yeah I go get that scarf I'm like mom you need to put this on go <laughs> Rocky say he ain't gonna let me fall off either okay but honey they ain't gonna have to do that to me Mm -mm. I'm gonna always be fly to the day I die. I hope you'll do that for me too. So, uh, my mama, I love her so much, and she has always exhibited what a mother should be. She was not perfect, but she was my mama. And nothing that she has done or instilled in me has has gone wasted. Every, Every lesson has been learned from her, every struggle, every sacrifice. I learned that from her. And I've been talking about the DNA all earlier this week and stuff like that. And you know how that person could just get me in an uproar. And I was like, you know what? Enough of the DNA and let me celebrate my mom. So I'm thankful for my mother. I'm thankful for my grandmother because honey, my mama always be quick to say she is the seventh child. She was born with a veil over her face and she is blessed. She has favor. So I guess that means her children got favor too, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how, that's what she be saying now. So my mother was born from a phenomenal woman, which is my grandmother and I love that woman to death. I was a complete mess the day my grandmother passed away and I will never ever ever forget it. It was the worst Saturday on December 1st in 1997. I will never ever forget it and I literally y'all had to pull off the road when I got that news. Like I was driving and I literally had to pull over the pull over and get myself together and like I sat in the car crying I know for at least an hour because I, I just couldn't believe it I couldn't believe that she was gone and I was supposed to call her back on that Thanksgiving and that was a couple of days before I was supposed to call her back and let her know that how my peanut butter cake had came out and her and my mama was on the phone on the, that Wednesday night arguing about how am I supposed to cook the damn cake and my grandma said well it's her damn recipe so how the hell May Rose gonna tell her how to cook the damn cake so my grandma had told me Steph once you cook the cake I want you to call me and let me know how the cake turned out well, my cake didn't come out good, okay? It, mm -mm. 
It sucked. I ain't gonna even lie. It didn't even taste like us a little bit. The frosting, I had almost right, but the cake itself, because she makes everything from scratch. Mm -mm. I got time to go. It sounds silly. Sorry, y'all. I had to flex. I didn't call her back because I was embarrassed. <laughs> and a couple of days later, my grandmother passed away. And I, I, I was like, damn, I should have called her and told her how that cake came out. Not that it would have meant that she would have continued to live, but she would have known. So that same year for Christmas, I made that cake and I swear to God, my grandmother must have been standing with me in the damn kitchen while I was making it because that cake came out perfect perfect a peanut butter cake and i'm talking about like a caramelized peanut butter cake off the chain my grandma could sell the recipe y'all okay but now it's grandma recipe yeah so now it's my mama's recipe because my mama cooks the cake all the time like she, she be it. selling the cakes okay so i will forever ever ever be thankful for my grandmother miss lissy hall and I will forever be grateful for the woman that she bared life to, which is Mrs. Mary Rose Hall. And she goes by AKA Mary Rose. Mm -hmm. So I will forever be grateful to them women and I'll show you guys a clip of my beautiful grandmother and my mother. Here's where it started, the DNA in my mother. And of course you can see, this is where I get my photogenic jeans from. It's because she's always in front of a camera, ready to smile and ready to take a pic. Um, the lady that you see that seems to be our elder is my grandmother that I was telling you guys about. And that is Miss Lizzie Hall herself. My mother had four girls and didn't have any boys. So she actually inherited boys through us getting married. Uh, as you can see, my mother is very involved in my life, my sister's lives. She is where she needs to be, when she needs to be, and the only thing that's going to stop her from getting there is death itself, okay? Uh, she has always been an active grandmother, very active mother, proactive. Yes, she done threatened a husband or two and like done told them, if you fuck with my daughter, you fuck with me and I'm going to fuck you up. You going to go missing, okay? My mother is a ball of fun and as you can see, those are all of her grandkids, my sisters, and this is her legacy that she will leave behind one day. All right, y'all. So now y'all have witnessed firsthand where I get it all from. The boldness, the brains, the beauty, the wisdom, the knowledge. You see where I get it all from? My mama. So literally, when they say you get it from your mama, literally, I got it from my mama. Okay. I thank her every day for just having the will and the strength to be able to do what she has done and she has done it successfully and she was a single parent. Yes, she had a village, however, she didn't let the village tanked her either a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but, you know, my grandma was the chief of the village. So, she gonna listen to the chief. All right. If she ain't listen to nobody else. When the chief speaks, you follow suit. Okay? So, I'm so forever grateful to have had her and to have witnessed and been able to grow up knowing my grandmother and both sides of my grand um grandparents uh my i have one grandparent living and that's my dna mother okay and i did visit her my last trip down to miami and i got to speak with her and sit with her and she's just very proud and i have to say that i know when my grandmother left this earth i know that she was very proud of the woman i am and i know my mother is very proud and she has said that to me on so many occasions and she said that one day she hopes to find love like I have found love. So I'm happy to say that I play an example and a role model, not just for my sisters, my daughters, and for any other woman out there, but I also play it for a very important woman whose opinion counts to me, my mama. So... With that being said, I will see y'all tomorrow because Mr. Long is waiting on me. He is officially on leave. So, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Peace out.